we're going to look at the basics of spidering a site with Burp Suite Free Edition. So we have Firefox Web Browser, which is pointing all of its queries, its requests, and its res and waiting for its responses from localhost 8080. And this is where Burp Suite is currently listening. And this is confirmed in the proxy tab, sub tab options under proxy listeners. We're listening on 8080, which is where Firefox was pointing to. So each time we make a request, it passes through Burp Suite on the way. We're going to turn the intercept off for now. In the targets tab, we can see that localhost is the main site and it contains links to these other sites. The reason the links are in gray is because they're just links and we didn't directly browse to them. So one of the things we want to make sure we do is we want to add this item to scope. This item's already in scope. Right now it says remove item from scope because we've already added it. In order to turn on the spidering options, what we can do is we can decide if we want to spider everything or if we just want to spider this host. To turn on spidering in general, you can run the spider over on the spider tab. And you can either use a sweet scope or a custom scope. With the custom scope, you can say what it is that you want it to spider. But we're going to use the sweet scope. We're going to go over to the target tab and we're going to right click on localhost and say spider this host. This will cause the spider tab to light up and Burp Suite will start to spider the site. We can see the number of requests that it's already done, the bytes transferred, and how many requests it has left to go. The request queued number is going to change because as Burp Suite spiders more and more pages, it'll find more and more links. So the requests queued are going to go up until it exhausts all of those links. It's also going to queue up any forms it finds because it doesn't know how to fill them out. It'll pop the forms up into a submit form box and allow you to type stuff in. If you submit a form and it opens up another page that Burp Suite couldn't normally reach, the request queue will go up and it'll start to spider that page. If it finds links on that page, it'll continue on recursively until it exhausts the scope. So here we can put in a value and we can put in a password for the password field. and submit the form. So that got Burp Suite past that page and it made it over to the user info page which has also username and password. We'll fill that out. And submit the form. And so on. And we would have 16 more forms to go for it to fill all of these out. We're just going to ignore the forms for the sake of time. Then, when Burp Suite gets done, it'll clear out all of the queues and then have the final statistics. If we go back over to the Target tab and then look at Localhost, we can expand Localhost by clicking the symbol on the left and we can see all the items that Burp Suite found. So in the root directory, it found all these pages, and so on and so forth. It will capture the images, JavaScripts, and styles, and keep those as well, along with any subfolders it finds. For example, in this case, it found the documentation folder. You can also filter what you see using this gray tab at the top. To use it, click on the tab, and it will expand out all the options. One of the most useful, if you're concentrating on a particular site, is to click the Show Only In Items Scope. And what that'll do is cause all the other non-localhost pages to go away. Just click off of this filters area in order to engage the filters. Another one of the more useful filters is selecting by MIME type or status codes, depending on the situation. And then you can also hide by file extension.